Hi, today we will see how to prepare an headcount report based on employee master. So we have an employee master here <coughs> wherein we have the details of department, employment start date and employment end date. And here we need to prepare the employee headcount for each month say from January 22 to December 22. So let's see how to do it. So we need to use count if function. So equals count ifs department equals finance second criteria is employment date is less than or equal to the month end date this one let us lock the row Now this gives you this count of all the employees who have joined on or before this date. Now we need to subtract what? We need to subtract all the employees who have left the organization on or before this date. So we have to minus count ifs department equals finance and employment end date is less than or equal to this state now let's see randomly let's see December month we have the count of 17 let's see if that is true so Let's select all the dates till December and let's, then let's eliminate all the people who have uh, left the organization on or before December. So here we have 17 employees and we see that our answer is correct. Now suppose let's take it further. Now let's try to calculate the employee turnover rate so how do we calculate the employee turnover rate so here we need to see how many people left in that particular month so how do we do that equals again count ifs department equals finance comma the employment end date is less than or equal to The month end date. Now here what we have got is we have got the count of all the employees 
who have left on or before 31st Jan 2022. But this includes the employees who have left prior to Jan 22 as well. So what do we need to do? We need to subtract the count of those employees who have left the organization on or before 31st December 2021. So let's do that. And how to do it? Let me show you. So count ifs. department equals finance let us lock the column and employment end date is less than or equal to percent now what is the date we need to get the month end date previous to Jan 22. So how to get that? We will use end of month function. We'll take this date. Let us lock the row. Comma. How many months we have to go back? Minus one to get the December 31st, December 21. Bracket close. Count ifs closed. Now let's see if it has worked properly. So let's check it one by one. How many people have left in May? Let's check that. Two people. One from admin, one from R&D. Next date is June is missing next is July one person left so see it has worked now similarly what we can do we can calculate the employee turnover ratio now what is the formula for employee turnover ratio or turnover rate so it equals basically it equals the number of employees left in that particular month divided by the average employees in that particular month so how do we do that let's start from february since january is the beginning date let's start from february for the purpose of this video equals how many people left this these many divided by average of number of employees in the month of february plus number of employees in the month of january basically jan close employees are equal to the employees at the beginning of the february so that is why we are taking this column divided by two now we have to enclose this whole thing into bracket and then we can either multiply it by 100 or we can simply convert it to percentage like this. Let us prevent it from giving any error by using if error function. Now let us copy and paste everything. right so this is how you should get an employee turnover rate so that's all for today's video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel thank you